it's gonna be fun and probably mm, this one is gonna overlap with the leg so I don't know let's see how it how it works oh so first thing I just press random buttons while I was talking so I'm just gonna rebuild again so it pops first first time and says okay join number three okay that's good and direction direction mm, if we want the foot frontal it must be z positive z and continue so now it's generated the guide there and it's popping the, um, the settings so for the settings we only have one option that is use role control so basically it's going to create a control for the role and banking or it's going to expose the option through the channel box so by default i always keep this on so that's it so what we have here is um this that represents the ankle then this is the the uh, um back banking position then we have two side banking positions that is this one doesn't matter where you put on the the depth it's the most important it's how it's aligned with the foot of the character so it should represent the wider point uh, for each interior and exterior and then we have three or more uh, locators here that it's for the um, for the rolling of the of the foot itself um, normally put two as a default one it's one around there one that represents the flexing for the fingers and the one that is the tip of the banking so it depends how to align um probably uh it's not um i'm gonna be using this video i mean not explain this video but uh like later like bringing a full character uh, and make the practical uses for these positions but the important thing to remember here is this one represents the also the height so all these three should be zero out there and that's it uh if i build this it's gonna be a little weird because only it's gonna have a couple of uh joints there and well you see this is the roll and the banking and so on you have also sorry you have also this that it's kind of the uh tip so this is like if it's dancing or something like that i don't know or like like a st step in a cigarette or something and then you have the the fk and this direction so to make banking and the the fk on the the other direction for the um uh, channels we have by default two angles or three depending on how many subdivisions we put there and basically it says like negative 20 negative 20 so the first 20 degrees in negative it's gonna roll the first articulation and next 20 is gonna roll the second articulation so it's additive so it means this starts from 20 to negative 20 to negative 40 and so on so you can keep adding this mathematically and that's it um the only thing i want to point here is the connector and that's something that is related with the legs or other components so by default we have connector standard that it's parenting straight to the reference uh, but um, some components have other kind of connectors and they are automatically set based on the parent uh, because it's not parent it's keeps standard but we have leg to joints leg uh, miles to joints and leg three joints so basically it, it's gonna detect which kind of leg you have and it's gonna connect this automatically so let me show you an example there so i'm just gonna delete this and i'm gonna use the leg to joints nice so this is the normal leg so the foot is connected around there i'm just gonna connect this with dog this it's uh, is it negative and ah oh sorry we check here we have leg to joints one so with this set uh, what basically does it's um 
is telling the the food that after the generation when it goes to the uh, operators stage or the final connection stage you need to reshuffle some of the objects and repairing some stuff they in the way that when we are in IK let's say um, wait from selection so when we are in IK the foot that have the role controls the leg but when we switch to FK is the leg obviously that controls the foot so we, we need to reverse this and the way that it, we do it for each component is specifically to creating a function or a connector that knows the components and know how to connect both of them so uh, normally it's probably from the shifter rigging system uh, the most um, I will not say complex but yeah very specific so you need to create for each connect I mean for each component the different uh, connectors so he knows how to connect stuff but I guess that's um, especially on this on this situation it's um, very specific for the rest yeah it's um, it's pretty straightforward but that's the only part where you need to really shuffle the behavior so just keep in mind that thing and remember if you do it like the way I did it it's gonna set it for you the connector so you don't need to, to worry too much but let's say you didn't create it selecting this and then you add the selection I mean the, the, the hierarchy and so on so you better check your your connector before the building so you don't you don't have standard. If I do it standard, I mean it's gonna work, but so it, it did work. But you know, as soon as I I do this, but look at that, it doesn't work as you expect. So it's uh, oh, <laughs> it's gonna be a little messy. So just keep this in mind, and everything is gonna be smooth. Okay, so that's that's it for the foot. Let's continue with the new component.